The Wahoo Element Rival is a capable GPS watch for runners. But at the end of the last video, I hinted that its greatest strengths may lie in triathlon. So how well does this watch do in the water? It's time to put on the Element Rival and take it for a swim. Seventeen hundred yards total swimming for today at the Dyersville Family Aquatic Center pool. Today's workout was three by four hundred meter intervals with the pull boy, and then a one hundred meter. Well, I was hoping to do one hundred meter reps for the rest of the day without the pull boy, but it turned out that I got super tired. My sinky legs without the pull boy are too much of a drag, so I did one one hundred meter interval and the rest. 50 meter intervals. And then I did do one rep with some of the swim fins in there just for good measure in an effort to take the Wahoo Element Rival out for a test swim. Now, before I tell you about how this watch does in not only this swim, but in the previous swims that I've had with this watch, I do wanna go over some disclosures. This is a watch that was sent to me for the purpose of review by Wahoo. However, they're not paying me to make this video or to use the watch, and they're not gonna get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts or my data before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Wahoo Element Rival. In the last video, I did go over in quite a bit of detail the exact features and sensors that are in the Wahoo Element Rival, and I'll post a link to that in the description down below. But what I wanted to mainly focus on today was how this watch does at swimming, and I was hoping that this video wouldn't be quite as long as the last one, so we're just gonna cut to the chase. What I found both testing the Element Rival and my other test watch that I have with me, which is the Polar Vantage V2, I will say that the Wahoo Element Rival does a really good job and has some super cool features that make it very easy for someone who's new to swimming like myself. I really only started swimming, like kind of, I mean, I've swam my entire life, but I only started swimming like laps uh, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm still relatively new to this sport and kind of all the nuances that are there. So all the swimming footage that you see, keep in mind that as ugly as it is, it's a vast improvement from where I started. Still working on it, got my first triathlon coming up in about one month now. So let's get to some of the data that we have here. First, let's talk about today's swim. The Wahoo Element Rival gave me 1,750 yards total of swimming, so it gave me 50 extra yards. And the really cool thing about the way that the Wahoo Element Rival works in the water when you're doing lap swimming is that it automatically not only calculates how many laps you swim, and you can tell it like how like long the pool is. If it's a 50 yard or 50 meter pool or a 25 meter pool, uh, you could tell it that. Um, but not only does it calculate, I'm guessing based on the accelerometer, how many lengths you're doing, but it can tell you how long you've been swimming before you needed to take a break. And so for me, the great thing about it is uh, I don't have to worry about hitting a button after I've gotten the rest of a 100 meter interval or 200 or 300 or 400 or whatever I'm, I'm swimming. I just swim. And when I stop swimming, it recognizes that and it starts a rest clock. So uh, it's calculating not only the work phases, but also the rest phases as well. And with all that, it's able to put that all together in a lot of detail and give me splits based on every kind of length of the pool that I'm swimming, uh, what my stroke rate was for that length of the pool and how long it took me to swim that length of the pool as well. The only problem is sometimes it gets it wrong and I'm gonna chalk this up to the fact that I don't have the like the prettiest swimming technique, I'm still learning. And although today I didn't do very many drills, mostly I was just swimming. So like the motion for uh, counting uh, and calculating how far I was swimming should be fairly accurate. But the, there were other days and we'll go over some of that data too, where you know, I was doing drills, so it kind of confused both of the watches. But for today, I think that the Wahoo Element Rival did a really great job of figuring out the 400s that I was swimming, 
and also the rests that I was uh, putting in between each of those repetitions as well. And then when I switched from 400s to 100s and 50s, it was able to pick up that as well. Although there was one time where, you know, I, I maybe, I think I had some water in the goggles, so I might've stopped for a second. And it counted that as a break, like a five second break. So it counted that as a different rep instead of giving me the whole 50. So there's certain things like that that happen from time to time, which, you know, it's fine, that's, that's fair enough. But uh, the thing that kind of confuses me a lot is the fact that sometimes it gives me more distance than I actually swam. So of the three 400s that I did today, two times it gave me more distance that I swam. It gave me 425 instead of 400, which is fine, but uh, it does affect you know some of that uh, stroke rate math and some of that uh, pace per 100 meters math as well. But let's take a look uh, at some of that. So um, it calculated for me, for my entire workout for today, a, uh, a pace of two minutes, four seconds per 100 meters of swimming uh, and a strokes per minute of 22. In contrast, the Polar gave me a wildly different number for today. It gave me 300 meters of swimming. It did give me a heart rate of 102 beats per minute on average coming from the wrist. Uh, there is a heart rate monitor in the Wahoo Element Rival, but I don't know if I'm not seeing it, but it's not picking up a heart rate, uh, at least not from the wrist when I've been swimming. So that's just data that doesn't seem to be there. Now let's look at another day of swimming. I had four swims this week. We'll go over all four of them. Let's go back two days. Let's go to July 20th. Uh, that's a day where I believe I swam 1300 meters. Element Rival told me I swam 1325 meters. So pretty close again. Now, if we flip over to the Polar Watch, uh, it only gave me 250 meters for the day, so uh, shorting me by quite a bit again. It gave me a heart rate of 107 beats per minute, so it seems about right. I mean, there's sometimes towards the end of a swim when I'm struggling where I feel like I'm hyperventilating, and uh, my heart rate's gotta be higher than that, but this is the heart rate that it's giving me. I, I don't know how accurate it can be, given that like there's gonna be water involved, and you know I'm not just sh I'm not sure, but that's the number it's giving me, just to give you guys some reference. Semi had a one minute and one second per 100 meters, which is way faster than I know I can swim, and a stroke rate of 47 uh, strokes per minute. Uh, it also thought that I swam some breaststroke today with, on that day, the July 20th, but it might be just picking that up from the drills that I swam, so that might be where some of that is coming from. In contrast, the Element Rival gave me two minutes and four seconds per 100 meters, very close to the number that I came up with today, which makes sense because that's like how I, I have one speed of swimming. I, I don't know how to swim any faster really or, or slower. That's the speed that I can swim. Uh, and it gave me a stroke rate of 22 strokes per minute. All right, let's go back one other day to Monday of this week, July 19th. And there, I'm not sure how much I swam because I did a lot of drills on Monday. So like, you know, I had a lot of it with fins, a lot of it with the kickboard and some of it with the snorkel and some mixture of all those things. So who knows how far I swam. Uh, and, you know, I don't really count the distant total distance of swimming when there's a lot of drills involved for the day um so but whatever the number actually was what i'm getting from the element rival is 775 meters and 300 meters again from the polar vantage v2 so again very different from the element rival and if i'm going to believe one or the other i'm definitely going to go with what the element rival has been giving me because uh not only this week but in lots of prior weeks i've been swimming with this for uh, almost three weeks now uh the the trend has been almost identical for the entire time now I've gone over three sets of data so far from this week, and I mentioned I had four swims. The one day, uh, Wednesday, I think it was, was it yesterday? Yesterday. Um, I didn't bring the Element Rival with me, and I did have the Polar Vantage V2, and I thought the pool that I go to right now is outside, so why, what would happen if I did an open water swim in a pool with this thing? And it was a disaster uh, because, you know, 25 meters uh, is pretty precise and more precise than a GPS watch can really pick up. You know, this is a time where we're realizing as a lot of runners that like tracks uh, have a radius that's too tight for GPS to really um, track accurately. And so like swimming in a straight line back and forth in a 25 yard pool, uh, you know, I, I should have known better that it was gonna be terrible, but it ended up being pretty bad. Um, so that was a mess. I really wish that I would have had uh, the Element Rival with me on that particular day. I just forgot to bring it with me that day. Um, so I wish I would have had it to compare it to, 
But the other thing that I did with the Vantage V2 on this day was I tried to mimic what the Element Rival is giving me in terms of auto calculating rest. And so I basically hit the lap button every time I finished an interval. And then I tried to remember then hitting it again uh, when my rest period was over. So that way, basically, if I had 10 reps, I would have 20, you know, kind of laps set up uh, on my uh, post-workout sheet that I could look at. And it, that seems to work fine, but I just kept forgetting to do it properly, so I had a lot of errors with that. So overall, I would say to build on the last video that I made about the Element Rival, where I felt like it was a pretty good GPS running watch, which had some features that I really need in terms of like having a power meter and having tools to measure my recovery and measure sleep. Like those things are all seem to be lacking from the Element Rival. But if you're looking at it from more of a multi-sport perspective and you start then adding in things like swimming, the swimming is just doing so much better than the Polar Vantage V2 in terms of tracking my swimming. It kind of changes the value proposition for me when you're looking at like which watch is the better watch. Now for people that are on this channel, most of you probably aren't doing any swimming at all, but I know that some of you are. So I wanted to make sure that you guys got a chance to kind of get more of the fuller picture about these watches to see how they do in these different situations. So those are my thoughts on the Wahoo Element Rival from a lap swimming perspective from a newbie. I'm not an expert in swimming by any means, but this has been my experience so far with this watch, living with it, not only for running, but also throwing in some swimming. And I also been doing some cycling, but mainly these are the two categories of activity that I think are gonna be the most important for looking at this watch. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it or better yet, feel free to stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. I'd love to be able to interact with you in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, what's going on?